Hello everyone. Today we are going to do Pax Tracer of System 8 2 version 7, 4.2.7 Pax Tracer configure router on a stick interview LAN routing. Here's a dressing table, objectives, and VLANs to a switch. Configure sub interfaces. Test the connectivity with interview LAN routing. In this activity, you will configure VLANs at interview LAN routing. You will then enable trunk interfaces and verify connectivity between VLANs. Instructions part one, add VLANs to a switch. Step one, create VLANs on switch one, S1. Okay, here's S1. Create, here's a create VLAN 10 minute 30 on S1. Let's go. Enable configure terminal VLAN 10, VLAN 30. Okay, we configured two VLANs on S1. Next, assign VLANs to ports. Configure interfaces F06, F011 as access ports and assign VLAN. Interface F011 is connected to PC1. PC1 belongs to VLAN 10. Interface F06 is connected to PC3. PC3 belongs to VLAN 30. Okay, let's go to assign these two ports to VLANs. Okay, interface F011. Switch port mode, access. Switch port, access, VLAN 10. Interface F06, I use up arrow. Switch port mode axis. Switch port axis, here is VLAN 30. Okay, so next we need to uh, verify the configuration. Let's use command show VLAN brief. So here, VLAN 10, F011, VLAN 30, F06, correct. All right. So next, we need to test the connectivity between PC1 and PC3. Let's ping. Ping PC1 to PC3. PC3's IP address we can get from here, IP configuration window. Okay, so IP address is here. Uh, 172, 172.17.30.10, 172.17.30.10. Then we will see the result to see if the ping is successful or not. Now here the question, were the pings successful? Why? Yeah, the pin fails. So no successful. And I explain why. Why? That's because these two PCs belong to two different VLANs. One is VLAN 10, one is VLAN 30. So these two P PC1 and PC3 are logically divided by the VLANs. So PC1 and PC3 are not able to communicate each other. That's a reason. Part two, configure sub-interfaces. Step one, configure sub-interfaces on R1 using the 802.1Q encapsulation. When we see 802.1Q, we know that it is the VLAN header, VLAN header, which is added by the switch to specify the frame includes VLAN information inside. So like here, when, when S1 here, when S1 receive uh, Ethernet frame, which includes VLAN 10 information on the access port F011, S1 will add this 802.1Q header to that frame to specify that frame includes VLAN information. This process is called tagging. 
and then it's one will send this tagged frame out of a trunk port. But here, they ask us to configure 802.1Q on the sub interfaces on R1. This is to respond. We do this is to respond the VLAN traffic from the specified VLAN. Okay, let's do it. Let's create sub interface G, G00.10 configure terminal interface G00.10. Here G00 is a physical interface. Here dot 10, 10 is VLAN 10. This number 10 actually is not required, but it is customary to match the sub interface number with the VLAN number. So here's we choose 10 and then encapsulation dot one Q 10. Here 10 is VLAN 10. This command on the router is to respond the VLAN traffic from VLAN 10. Then we give an IP address to this sub interface, which is IP address here. It is here, 172.17.10.1. 172.17.10.1, followed by the subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0. Okay, next repeat the G00.30 sub interface. Okay, interface G00.30. Okay, 30 is for VLAN 30. Encapsulation, okay, here change to 30 for VLAN 30. Then we give the IP address to this sub interface. Okay. So we find the sub interface IP address from this addressing table here, sub interface. Dot thirty one seventy two seventeen thirty dot one one seventy two seventeen thirty dot one subnet mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. All right, let's go to verify configuration. Use command <coughs> command. You show IP interface brief. All right, we see here these two sub interface, we configured IP address on it, but here the status, status and protocol are down. All right, so as we know that all the interfaces on switch and routers are in shutdown mode by default. So we need to enable the interface, but here this two sub interfaces are virtual interface. So in order to enable the sub interface, we need to enable the associated physical interface or physical ports. So let's go configure terminal interface G00. G00 is physical interface. <coughs> No shutdown. <coughs> okay, so we enabled interface G00. Then we verify again. Show IP interface brief. Okay, this time these two sub interfaces change to status up, protocol up. Before, here is down, down. Now it's up, up. Okay, good. Yeah, we did it. So sub interface are now active. Part three, test connectivity with inter VLAN routing is pin again. It's pin again. So use up arrow. 
Here it says the pin should still fail. Explain why. Still fail. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, fail. Okay. The reason we need to check we need to check the interface G01 on S1. Because we configure sub interface on R1, that's correct. We need to change, we need to check G01 interface on S1. Let's go to S1. Here, uh, show VLAN command to show VLAN. All right. The question is what VLANs is G01 assigned to? Here, G01 assigned to VLAN 1 by default. That means G01 still appear in this output of, of command show VLAN. So that means G01 is still access ports. We know that all the ports displayed in these outputs of command show VLAN are access ports by default and also assigned to VLAN 1 by default. So on the operational level, G01 is still access port. So it is not right. G01 should be changed to trunk port. Let's look at here. Because the router was configured with multiple sub-interfaces assigned to different VLANs, the switch port connecting to the router must be configured as a trunk. Switch port connecting to router, this one, G01, should be a trunk, enable trunking. Okay, let's go to, so configure terminal interface G01, switch port mode trunk. Okay. So here, completion status changed to 100%. That means the configuration we did is uh, correct. All right, so we changed uh, inf interface G01's uh, switch port mode to trunk. So here, how can you determine that the interface is a trunk port using show VLAN command? Let's go, show VLAN. Show VLAN. So here, G01, this interface disappear. It's not displayed in these outputs anymore. So that means G01 interface changed to a trunk port because we know all the ports displayed here are access ports, all right, by default. And we can use another, we can use another command to verify G01 interface change to trunk. That is show interface trunk. So here G01 status change to trunking. That means interface G01 become a trunk port, not access port anymore. Okay, so now let's test the connectivity ping again from PC1 to PC3. This time, the ping should be successful. Yes, did he help? Success. OK, good. The last question, what addresses do PC1 and PC3 use as their default gateway addresses? We can look at here, addressing table. PC1's default gateway is 172.17.10.1. It is the same as the sub interface IP address. Okay. PC3 is 30.1 is the same as this sub interface IP address. 
So PC1 and PC3 use the sub sub interface IP address as their default gateway address. In other words, we know that the sub interfaces are virtual interface and each sub interface represent a VLAN. So the sub interface IP address is the default gateway of that specified VLAN. So that is the answer. So we finished this package to configure router on a stick, interval and routing. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please thumbs up and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. See you next time.